hello guys you're welcome back to my channel my name is tessie good morning good afternoon and good evening to you all depending on where you are watching from hope you all are doing well and thank you so much for stopping by this is a very powerful question from methodist priest to um the federal government of nigeria president muhammad Buhari's government and he says did you buy super tucano jet for terrorists or biafran agitators this is a very powerful question. I'm going to be reading the uh, the news for you guys. But just when the U.S., we are about selling those military equipment to Nigeria, so many people questioned them, even told them not to sell it, that they will use it to intimidate the citizens, the innocent people that they know here. Today in court, waiting they happen. Most of them said they even carry and go give terrorists, may they use and they kill innocent people. Because if not... How do you explain the kind of things we are seeing in Nigeria today? Please, before we continue, if you're just watching for the first time or you've been watching without subscribing, please do us a favor by clicking on the red subscribe button down below to subscribe. Also, on the notification button. And that way, anytime we upload a new video, they will notify you. And I pray that the same way you all are supporting us here in this channel, God will definitely send people that will support you in whatever you are doing in life in Jesus' name. Amen. This news I read, the Methodist prelate, His Eminence, Dr. Samuel Uche, has urged the Nigerian government to address the alarming spate of insecurity and terrorist attacks in the country. Wondering why Muhammad Buhari spent a huge amount of money to procure the United States Super Tucano fighter jet. The cleric said this in a press conference on Tuesday in Omaha on the sidelines of his pastoral visit to Omaha Methodist Diocese. Why accusing the federal government of treating bandits and terrorists ravaging the country with kids' gloves but using a sledgehammer on unarmed Biafran agitators. He criticized the worsening insecurity in the country perpetrated by bandits and the government lassity in dealing with them. Today, you can't move freely again in the country. This morning, yesterday, bandits attacked soldiers in Abuja, very close to the seat of power. The other time, they had the temerity to go to Kuje prison to release inmates. What type of government do we have? These people are toying with our security. Why not order soldiers to eliminate those criminals? Why do we have to Kano jet if we won't use them against terrorists and bandits? Did they buy the jet to see if they can kill all Biafran agitators? Why are they after Biafran's hatred? Why not send the aircraft after bandits and finish them? Why do they allow bandits to be operating? I saw a video in Casina State where more than 400 bandits took over the road. They intercepted travelers and robbed them and took some inside the bush. Why is this happening in the home state of Mr. President? Is there any agenda? What is happening in Nigeria is no longer tolerable. We cannot keep quiet for them to continue. The prelate, who was kidnapped by Fulani Hesmen about three months ago, but regained his freedom after a ransom of 100 million was paid, blamed the fastening insecurity on wrong leadership. He said that Nigeria could be fixed within six months if the leadership was willing, adding that contrary to the opinions of many, Nigeria is not yet a fit country. For me, I still see hope in Nigeria. What we have as a challenge in Nigeria is on serious leadership. If any leadership is serious, Nigeria can be fixed within six months. Even the people in power now can fix Nigeria if they remove their eyes from injustice and unnecessary dirty weight. They should fix their eyes on justice, high morality and integrity. Our situation is not irredeemable. All right, my people, and that is it for you all. This is really a very good question, and I believe the only person that have the answer to that question is President Muhammad Buhari because he is the head. He is the head. I don't want to use the word terrorist group, but yes, he is the head of them all. And he should please tell Nigerians 
the reason and purpose of purchasing those bogus military equipment is it to destroy the lives of innocent nigerians who are unarmed or they bought it to destroy terrorists because if those equipment are for terrorists they are not making use of it at least none that i know the other day they said military jet fighting boko haram mistakenly bombed Ma muhammad obari's village and destroyed the lives and properties of innocent people that is the kind of reports we keep hearing ever since they bought this year uh, military equipment so it is obvious that those weapons we are bought to destroy the innocent people of nigeria they are bought it to fight biafra and odudua agitators contrary to what they told the united states which is they are buying the equipment to fight terrorism and I think these people should ask questions. Sometimes it's good made it at least ask questions. These things we have given to you. What are you using it for? But they will not ask because in tanto na money that they find. This is the problem we have with all these uh, world leaders. They are only interested in what they can gain from us. They don't care after your well-being. They don't care. This is the problem we have. Because if not, after all the argument, they will not say, they will say, they will not say at the end of the day. They sold all of those equipment for them. If they really care about your well-being, they will sell all those things uh, with terms and condition. If they are misusing it, they will retrieve it. But no, because it is all about benefit, they don't care if they are using it to kill the poor masses. Today in our Nigeria have so many weapons to defeat the so-called terrorists if truly they want to defeat them. The other day they were giving excuses that the reason why they cannot bomb their location is because they are put, putting the hostages into consideration. The same one they are telling you they have sold. They are telling you they have sold as slaves. It's the same one you're putting into consideration. Tell us truth. It is the terrorists you're putting into consideration. We all know. The terrorist group, they are the ones you're putting into consideration because they are working for you. Put them into consideration because before they attack, before they bomb innocent people, before they kill, that they put them into consideration. But you're putting terrorists into consideration. Anyways, all thanks to the prelate for always speaking up. Even though the people they are speaking to are deaf, they know they hear word. They, can't, they don't give answers to all these questions but we will keep asking them imagine how can our soldiers be dying like fowl like chicken in the hands of common criminals terrorist group when they have all the equipments that it takes to destroy them but they are dying the other day a military man said the reason why insecurity is still an issue in nigeria is because there is an order from above that they shouldn't be killed they should be captured alive. This one where they go capture finish at the end of the day, and I go say they'll be repented, Boko Haram. They'll be repented. They will still free them. They will go back and continue from where they stop. All these people, God go judge all of them. See, the level of insecurity in this country and the damages it has caused are very much, very grievous. Just look at now. Not be seen it, they cry now. Because the things have done reach their doorstep. And if if anything, if something is not done, it will get worse. It will it will not get better. It will only get worse. This is not prophecy of doom. It is reality that all of us we are seeing it. We they see am now. So this is it for you all, my people. The all the equipment they are purchasing to fight terrorists, they are using it to empower terrorism. They are not fighting nothing. If truly they want to fight terrorists just six months just like this man said is even too much to take care of it but because it has become a lucrative business for them that is why they don't want to do anything about it but their days are numbered please don't forget to share your opinion with me on the comment section like and subscribe and i will see you all in my next video bye bye bye